And on a Thursday morning, one of the year's most anticipated films is out today, Jurassic World. The fourth movie in the dinosaur action franchise is finally in cinemas, complete with new dinosaurs, a new park, and you guessed it, a new escapee. Kate Roger sat down with actor Chris Pratt, who told her he still can't believe he's part of the film and can't wait for people to go on an awesome two-hour journey with him. There was a moment of, of long, you know, our, grueling work were punctuated by just sheer pleasure and awe uh, that we got to be part of this amazing, you know, franchise. All right, so Kate Roger is one of the lucky few who got to see it ahead of the rest of the world and joins me now from LA, the City of Angels. Um, Kate, d did you, like, you obviously sat down with Chris Pratt, as I said. I, is it possible to make a movie without him in it now? <laughs> No, it's not. And you know what? I totally get it now. Um, I um, haven't been on the Parks and Rec journey that he's got such a cult following for. Loved him as Emmett in the Lego movie, but of course he didn't really see him. It was Guardians, I first thought. Yep. Oh, yeah. And then in Jurassic World, completely cements it. I want him to be Indiana Jones, can I say? This was actually oh. Jurassic World felt like a long screen test for <laughs> Indiana Jones. You've got the waistcoat, you've yep. got the yep. motorbike, he just needs a whip and a hat. And, and you've got the sorted. vibe. He has the indie vibe as well. Okay, so tell me. He just does. He just does. <laughs> Does. He's how, awesome. How good is Jurassic World? <laughs> um, I'm going to ask a question first because that's what all people do. They answer a question with a question. Yeah. Are you a big fan? Was this a big deal for you 22 years ago? Yes, but it didn't hold me through its different incarnations, but I loved the first one. No. I did. I did as well. Not as much as Star Wars. Uh, but this, I'm going to use two words, critic proof. This film already, here in the States and globally, the pre-sales have set records. So people have been buying tickets in advance. It's opening at close to 5,000 cinemas. Um, it's going to make a fortune. So people don't necessarily, I like to think you care what I think and everyone else does. Do. But it is kind of feeling a bit critic proof. But it's, it's, it's a really good romp. We have to bear in mind that 22 years ago, this this Jurassic World was so fresh and so new, and the special effects won an Oscar. And even today, they're, they're still kind of cool. They're a bit hokey, but they're still pretty cool. The special effects, ILM back doing those, they're amazing. These dinosaurs feel real, and Pratt's got that leading man kind of feel to it. But it's not the same, and I think possibly the Jurassic Park fans of old will be harsher critics than, than I'm certainly being. As a blockbuster film um, for two hours, 3D and an IMAX, it's, it's great. Why did it take so so long to bring this out because it was supposed to be released in the summer of 2005 this movie <laughs> It's taken a while, and you referred to the other two sequels, which are so forgettable I don't even remember watching yeah, them, yeah. Um, which didn't do that well. So Spielberg wanted to take it back to that 22 years ago, and it is. That's now a fully-fledged theme park. There are these crazy dinosaurs running around, one particular genetically modified one called Indominus Rex. Clearly it's Spielberg and its dinosaurs that one's going to escape and cause havoc, and that's essentially the film. And the story itself, it's not a breakout, Paul. It's not going to win Oscars for its script. Um, the, the, the characters themselves, the human ones, take a, obviously a second scope to the, the dinosaurs themselves. So, and one um, of the, one look, of the issues... Gonna, I'm pretty sure... Well, I was going to say, one of the issues that they have is, you know, in that first one, they had dinosaurs, and dinosaurs are really big. Um, and, and that was amazing. But <laughs> yes. they sort of, like, had to make them bigger, and they had to make them fiercer. And in this one, they have done that, haven't they? They have, and what they call, they've thrown that the whole mutant dinosaur thing into the ring as well. So our big badass dinosaur is a combination of a whole lot of other things right. that have been thrown into that test tube. So they kind of took it to that level. But all the other cool things about dinosaurs that you love, if you're a dinosaur fan, um, are all still part and parcel, uh, parcel of it as well. Because it is like a theme park. It's like going to Disneyland, except there's a, a raptor and there's a T-Rex. And, uh, and there's a little bit of that, probably not as much as I would have liked. I would have liked to get a sense of those animals a bit more before yeah. we cut straight to the action chase. But, you know, you've got to fill a lot in two hours. So they hey, kind of had to crack on with the story a little bit. Because this is such a huge and anticipated movie, I'm guessing that the premiere that you went to, I'm guessing that the whole event you've been to was huge and amazing. And there were some clips that you sent back. Was this at the what people would know as the Kodak Theatre, which is now the Dolby Theatre? And that plaza outside, did they have like, they, they sort of redo the whole plaza? They theme it? 
They do. Uh, and it, yes, it was at the Chinese Theatre, Grauman Theatre, right next to where they hold the Oscars, which is the place to have a premiere here in LA. And it was huge. They've had a couple in Europe as well, which have been massive. Just to give you an idea, though, we call these things junkets when we get to go along and, and interview the stars for a film pool. And it's usually in a... <laughs> hotel corridor and literally you just wait outside each hotel room and you go in and you sit down and have your interview. They held this junket. They bust us into the back of the Universal lot and it was on a sound stage. They completely dressed the whole thing out like Jurassic Park. I've never seen anything wow. like it, including bird noises and and um, dinosaur noises in the background. So they spent a lot of money on the junket and um, the interviews look great. Uh, and, you know, it's a big event. They call it an event film. It's a tentpole blockbuster for the summer. They're hoping it's going to bring in millions of dollars and boy up uh, the summer Fantastic. blockbuster movie season here in the States as well. Kate, thank you so much for that. Um, we will catch you back here when you finally come back here. <laughs> if I do, I will do. Bye. Bye. Entertainment uh, editor Kate Roger from the home of entertainment, Hollywood. Uh